What's happening, y'all? Long Scorpio here, and today, this next car of, on, of this Forza Motorsports 6 July car pack, that's what we're going to be taking a look at today, is, is the 1980 Fiat 124 Sports Spider. This thing's now coming in stock at, at 102 horsepower, 110 pounds of torque, and an overall weight of 2,310 pounds. But, uh, ho, 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 I am going to be building this thing up. Okay, a uh, single, single turbo, because it delivers the most power, I believe. But, uh, what can we do? Um, ew, 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 eh, eh, ew, no, 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 not taking that off, let's see. Hmm, that actually, nah. No, 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 no. Not taking the bumpers off. I am not wanting to make this thing look super ugly. That that's a disgrace. Okay, <laughs> three hundred and forty-four horsepower. That's it. Three hundred and forty-four horsepower. Is that really it? Are you kidding me? That's it. That's it. Are you serious? That's it. Are you kidding me? Okay, does the roll cage make a difference? Apparently it does. But uh, how about? No, 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 no. Okay. How about the uh, rim options? And I think I. Whoa, 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 whoa. Woo! Actually, the Super Advan Racing Version 2 is pretty nice, but uh, you know what? I'm going for them. They're. They're lightweight, so. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, I do not want to take this thing out on the track. I don't want to take it out on the track yet, because I need to uh, tune it. Okay, so do my usual tuning setup on this little thing, even though it's not really little, cause it, cause, it, cause it's going to be a little beast. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully this thing doesn't betray me like that uh, crazy BMW did and that Chevy Cruze, uh, that greatly disappointed me. So, uh, and this guy's could very well be the very, very last DLC pack for for uh for Forza Motorsport Six. But, uh, unfortunately, guys, if, if you guys are just tuning in to here, unfortunately, guys, the, the brand new 2016 Lamborghini Aventador LP, LP7, LP750-4, uh, uh, Super Veloce, the Bugatti Chiron, the, uh, Koenigsegg Regera, and, and the BMW i8 are not in, are, are not, repeat, not in this pack, so, 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 I am terribly sorry to, uh, to uh, break the bad news, but that's bad news. The, those cars I just mentioned are not in this pack. And Turn 10 has been hiding this pack for quite some time and has not been releasing it until now. So, so guys, I'm not feeling so much better. Now let's see what speeds. 116 miles an hour. That's on, it's actually kind of going... Wait a minute. Is this it? Are you serious? Just, just 168.3 miles an hour? Are you... Hitting me right now? Okay, so, uh, I'm actually gonna take this thing to a track of where there is less, uh, tight corners. Um, let's see, uh, I'm actually gonna take it to a track that's not really used that often. And, um, let's see. Let's take it to. You know what? You know what? Let's be different. And let, and let's take it to Sonoma Raceway on the full circuit, because I'm actually curious of how this thing will sound, especially especially with, especially with the uh, single turbo inside it. And the other cars that are coming up in this pack, guys, are going to get better and better. Because the big one I'm saving for last before the main one, so, yeah. Ooh, 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 this thing looks really, really nice. Ooh! Ooh, look at that! Oh my god, it's actually got... It's... It's actually got the wood behind the gauges. That is so cool. Oh, god. Okay, well, without further ado, let's see how this thing sounds. Oh, that actually sounds kind of beastly. Let's go. Ah. 
size already, eh? Control yourself. Hey, 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 control yourself. Hey, 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 control yourself. Wow, this thing actually kind of handles pretty well, but uh, without the uh, without the attraction and stability control on, if you have this thing maxed out, uh, just like this, without traction and stability control on, and if you like to turn it really, really hard, it will get the ass out, and it will try and get sideways on you. It's... See? 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 Like that. Like that. If you don't handle this thing precisely, that, that will happen. So, yeah, and... And, uh, by the way, how are you guys enjoying the pack so far? What is your, uh... What is your all-time favorite car from this pack so far? Let me know in the comment section down below. What is your favorite car from this pack so far? Mine would definitely have to be that BMW, because I have never seen a car like that in all my life. Because... Because I... Because I thought... Because it, it at first I thought, I thought it was actually going to be a three-wheel car. Which means it would have, like, two wheels in the front and one wheel in the back. So, yeah. Alright. Alright, second lap. First person. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't get sideways already. I'll get you sideways on the third lap, okay? So... So please, just control yourself. Control yourself. Oh no, I do not need to follow you, Otis. I can get sideways all I want. I am a... I am a little fear. I am a... I am a little beastly fear. You cannot control me. I can control you. You cannot control me. I'll get so easily right. Cause, Cause you suck. And you cannot control me. I can can I, I can control you then. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. This, god, this thing's gonna be a real pain in the ass to control Max out. This thing's gonna be a real pain in the ass. Okay, you fiat are already gonna be Okay, you fiat are already being a real pain in the ass to control. Ah! God, God, this thing is a little skittish, and, and it's just a little nightmare to control. Well, it's not really a nightmare, but, uh, you know what I mean. It's, it's just a little, really, really difficult to control. Alright, here we go. Now we are approaching the uh, third lap. Okay, here we go. And now, now we can get this thing sideways. Oh my god, this thing actually handles surprisingly well. Look at this! It's actually kind of... It's actually rather easy to control. Wow, this thing's actually quite easy to control while drifting. 
especially if you just bounce the power right and not and not make some slight flip mistakes like that, like what I just did. That's what she said. You can basically pretty much just get this thing to get sideways anywhere you want. It's pretty much just that easy to control and get sideways. But uh, but uh, when but uh, when it's not getting sideways, it's a different story when it's not getting sideways. But uh, but uh, when it is getting sideways, then you're pretty much in good hands. So that guys does it for the uh, build and review of of this 1980 Fiat Spider. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then do not forget to as always just punch that like button and let me and let me know in the comment section down below for you guys saw this. And also as always, if you're new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe for more. And I will see y'all in the next one. Talk to y'all later. And happy trails to y'all. And stay tuned for for more cars that, that that are coming up later on in this pack.